Well, music therapy is, a, is an important component of the hospice program with BJC. We enhance what the nurses, the social workers, and the chaplains do, really. Music affects the body. Music affects uh, emotions and memory, starting with physically. Music affects uh, our breathing, our blood pressure, our heart rate. Music and pain are both processed in the limbic part of the brain. So when one of our patients is actively involved in music, it can actually bring pain relief and relaxation to promote a lot of comfort for the patient. Music um, brings back memories, so we use music for doing a lot of life review, having the patient and their family share memories that are brought up by music. You know, you hear a song maybe you haven't heard since high school and you hear it just brings back memories and you can smile and remember highlights of your life. Uh, also use a lot of music for sp uh, spiritual support that enhances what the chaplains do too as well just to help that person just be ready. So universally music is helping to affect the body for pain relief and, and uh, anxiety relief and relaxation for memory, life review, and uh, spiritual and emotional support for the patient and their families. In a session, and it depends on the patient and the need and the interest, but most of the music that we do is live music, so I will be playing uh, uh, the guitar or another instrument, and I do songs that are significant for them, songs that, uh, that are important from their life, you know, be it maybe a love song or songs that remind them of events of their lives, a lot of spiritual music, things <coughs> like that. So I will sing and play and oftentimes the patient will sing, the, pa the family will sing, or they will choose songs that are significant and the family may be near and in, in, in the room with us and, and we're, we're singing. And the first thing that happens with that is if a patient's having pain or anxiety, just starting to hear music that they enjoy, takes their mind off of what's going on with their body. So it, it starts as a distraction. And then from there, the music starts to work to, to calm and relax and bring comfort for the patients. So yes, I'm playing and singing. Sometimes they're singing. Sometimes I do um, instrumental music with them. I may do a relaxation session with them with uh, guided imagery and relaxation. In that case, I'll use recorded music and talk them through relaxation. I always make an assessment before and after my visit. I, w I want to see what their pain level is, their anxiety level, and just how they're feeling emotionally so that I can tell before and after if there's been a shift. And almost always they tell me their pain is down. They're relaxed. They're uplifted. To my knowledge, no other hospices in this area have music therapy services provided. To be able to bring comfort to that patient and that family, to be able to bring joy. It's just the most blessed work of my life. It's the highest calling. I mean, I, I couldn't imagine ever wanting to do anything else.